Alvin and the Chipmunks were genetically modified in a lab and were made to become the perfect set of sp- I can't read. Alvin and the Chipmunks, I 100% believe, were made in a lab. Yes, that is the point of this video. Now, you might be asking, what the hell, Jordan? Well, I started watching the third one and I was wondering to myself, why can they talk? So like, you know, any sane person, I watched all four of them. Third movie and I want to cut off my fucking testicles. This shit is cancer. I wrote notes. I tortured myself for six hours straight. I did it. <laughs> I've been watching chipmunks for so long. I did it. I watched all the fucking chipmunks. By the end of this video, you will agree on why chipmunks are genetically lab made. Fuck, am I running out of ideas already? But before, before we dive in, let me refresh your memory on these beautiful, glorious masterpieces. Don't worry, it'll be quick. In the first one, they start as chipmunks in the forest. Boom, now they're with Dave, and then Dave gets fired. And then boom, now they can sing. Dave makes them pop stars. They leave them for our King Ian, you know, that motherfucker. And then they realize their mistake and they fucking leave Ian because this weird ass caged them. And they take Dave back. Boom, that's the first one. The second one, they become pop stars, you know, as they already are. And they're just bigger now. And then they make Dave fucking dies. And then makes them go to school. They get popular and then the Chipettes come in through the mail and, you know, meet Mr. Hawk. The Chipettes outshine our beautiful heroes and sing for the school to win money. Mr. Hawk cages them again, even after Alvin said, don't, don't go near his weird ass. Don't fucking do it. They got caged. And then Alvin saved this fucking ass. Now the third one, this is where I started watching. I was really bored. The Chipettes and the Chipmunks are all together. They go on a cruise. But uh-oh, homeless Mr. Hawk now works as a bird on the ship. Alvin and the monks accidentally fly off of the ship towards an abandoned island. Yes, I'm reading a script. It, this is a lot of information. <laughs> Mr. Hawk and Dave follow them to the island. There's a hottest chick on the island, by the way. But she's fucking crazy looking for treasure, so I don't really fuck with her anymore. She was she did the little dance in the rain and I was like, God damn. Damn. And the fucking island explodes and they fly away. And then the fourth one, this one's gonna be Frank. I, 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 I hated this one. It was the worst one out of them all. I fucking, I fucking hated this one. And all the other ones, I think the third. So here's, here's my quick ranking. Third is the best. Then it goes the first, then second, then fourth. This one is just garbage. All ad place. It's fucking dewy. It's so bad. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> Chipmunks are now washed up. They're washed up pop stars, and then Dave tries to fucking marry some bimbo doctor. And then the chipmunks and the doctor's son, they have a new brother now. It's a fucking human. And they go to Miami, Miami, and they try to stop their engagement. But this is real, by the way. I'm not making this up. They become terrorists. <laughs> so they can't fly anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Dave doesn't get married. Blah, blah, blah. They live happy after after. I fucking, I just hate this fucking cut up great first consensus why i think they're lab grown <laughs> the chipmunks they don't look like regular regular chipmunks we see this a lot they're not real okay their fucking bulging eyes is in their weird fucking faces and they talk why do they talk i, I know it's a kid movie i don't want to hear it but 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 Kearney, it's it's in their universe it's something i saw on reddit nope we got lots of evidence to destroy that stupid ass fucking theory that Alvin and the Chipmunks is based in a multiverse of our universe. No, I'm not schizophrenic. That would be weird. They referenced Twitter and they fucking, and Ian Hawk was like, I missed out on Justin Bieber twice. How do you miss out on Justin Bieber twice? But safe to say their multiverse is, is based off of our universe with their Twitter shenanigans. Back, back on topic, their first appearance, Dave was shocked. Okay, he was losing his shit. Talking fucking animals appear in your house. So, you can't say it's normalized in that universe. It's not. They're genetically lab-grown to become spies. It's so weird threatening a camera. I really hope you watch any of the movies. If not, it's gonna be a bit confusing. Fuck, I, I wrote like 9,000 characters for the script. I hate scripts. I'm not good at following them. Part two of my essay I wrote. I'm gonna rename the video I wrote an essay on the fucking chipmunks. I did a lot of research. Not even, it wasn't a lot. It was a little bit. 
they don't have balls. <laughs> they don't have balls or anything. They can't reproduce. They're not fucking real. Fuck you. They don't have balls. Why don't they have balls? You know how big squirrels' balls are? They have swanging and fanging all around. I don't think they're real. And I don't care that it's a kid's movie and they wouldn't put... No, I would put their balls in there. The kids gotta know. Rodents are always swinging that shit around. And it's daytime, by the way. What a diff... What a plot twist. <sighs> That's my next point. Real chipmunks can barely squeak. Here's a quick sound. Makes it for their vocal range impossible. They can barely fucking squeak. No, it's physically, I spelled impossible wrong. Next point. I'm sure you guys are with me. Real lab experiments have happened with splicing a rodent with human DNA. It's real, it happened, it's disgusting and gross. Have you seen that? It's just an ear on a rat, it's disgusting. I don't like it. I think it's fucking disgusting. As disgusting as it is, it helps me prove my point. That's right. It's possible. There goes out that you can't be like, it's impossible. No, it's not. Not anymore. Not impossible. You know how smart those fucking rodents are? They are way too fucking smart to be rodents. So, being the man I am, I lied down and I thought about it. So FBI, the CIA, the government, they spliced their DNA to enhance their intelligence, musical abilities, and other traits. They are genetically modified to become pop stars. Or so I thought. They're too humanoid. It was weird. It was so weird to see them next to other animals. This is, this is, this is when I get to my next point. Don't worry, my big ass knows. It knows no lies. They're too kid-like. They know how to write. They know how to draw. What the fuck? It's weird. It's weird. Okay? That explains so much. Like, how? why do they do natural kid things? Simon even talks... He lectures Dave about credit in the first one. How do you do that? I don't even know anything about credit. But now it gets weird. I mean, it's always been weird. You know how I mentioned they act like kids? Dave referred to them as kids and legally adopted them. Just gonna ignore how weird that is because they're kids that turned into rodents. Yeah, that was weird and personal. Fuck sakes, get away from me. <sighs> kids turned into rodents to help America fight against terrorists. Whoa. Yeah. Do you feel that? It's fucking crazy. Alvin and the chipmunks and the chipettes. You know they got the little three little boys here, the three little girls here. They are way too similar we got simon and the other one what's her name i'm gonna call her woman simon woman simon and simon they are too similar all right then we got the woman fat ass and then we got the fucking man fat ass they are too similar but it looks everything per too similar uncanny and then we have alvin and the other alvin i don't know the chipette's names i don't think anybody actually does i think they're just lying boom boom they're too similar boom <laughs> they're exactly alike Almost like they're genetically modified. Such a dumb video. This part is like a story, okay? You guys gotta really tune in with me. Alright, tune in. It gets, it gets very cinematic. Boom, boom, boom. Lights, cameras, action. In 19 minutes in the first film, David asks, Where's your parents? Our parents were hippies left early to join a commute. But Simon also talks about the chipmunk. What the fuck? I'm bad with grammar. Our parents leave early. What the fuck? Okay. Did you know, besides the chipettes and Alvin's crew, there's another animal? Whoa. Yeah, this one made me jump out of my seat. Whoa. It's it's just some fucking sponsor. It's just a gopher that really likes a NASCAR. God, this is turning into a train wreck. It's been 15 minutes, and the entire time I was thinking, the government should take them away and train them. Why would they? They were the ones who made them. I was not nearly as cool as it should have been. Stay with me, everybody. <clears throat> Before they met Dave, they were three innocent children. These children were not special in any way, but their parents were hippies. Oh, what the fuck? I cut it off. Who hated the government so much, they would do anything to get rid of them and commute the country free. If you recall, Simon said his parents left and they were hippies. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> they were hippies and they left to commute the country. Boom. And that's just what they did. They will do anything to make their dream come true. Even abandoning their children. They made a deal with the government. Why not? 
With rodent and human splicing being as new as it is, the government needed test subjects, and I accidentally cut it off again. Needed- oh fuck. They needed a way to get their little green thumbs into the pie. I was really proud of that, by the way. This is also like almost 9,000 characters. So they made a deal with the government. The deal of turning their children into monsters to pursue knowledge and make the government finally back off. Whoa. And they were taken to a secret government controlled lab and made to become secret, lethal, international spies. They're perfect for elite espionage. They're small figures and obviously animal like characteristics. Yeah, they'll be unstoppable, but as unstoppable as they could be, they were too new. Government needed more data. So, capturing three children. Okay, this is where I went off the wire. <laughs> capturing three children and splitting their personalities into two and making female and male versions was the only way to get it. They never meant for them to become pop stars. Of course, at the beginning, they put them out in the wild. See how they would adapt. Curious on, well, how they... Oh, fuck. <laughs> they put them out in the wild to see how they would adapt to real chipmunk activities. But once they got captured by Dave, they got curious. <laughs> God, so fucking stupid. Curious on how well they will readapt with human activities in their human trials. Whoa. Y'all got chills. I got chills. And I'm the one that wrote it. I should, I should write a book. They want, no, they needed to see if they would revert in any way. It's only to ensure the government spies won't revert and blow the whole operation. They needed them to test out both worlds and both genders. As unplanned as the human testing phase was, it was exactly what needed to be done. Oh, I have more. They test- oh, fuck me. This is- this- I, I- I- I don't have a conclusion. I'm gonna make one up on the spot. They outlasted all the trials, and they become perfect spies for elite espionage. That's why- I, dude, this thing went off the radar. This was supposed- I don't know. I think what happened was, I was off my ADHD pills for a couple of days. And then I finally took them and I wrote like a 9,000 character essay on why I believe they're lab grown. I don't even put any fucking scientific evidence. This is a joke, everybody. Don't take any of this legit. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. It's long. It's very long. It's what was I doing? <laughs> you want to see my notes? Can I show you how much notes I wrote? This was watching all four movies. I watched all four of them and I wrote notes on it. Oh, the phone's dying. What am I even doing? <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm going to still post this because I think it's funny and I made a really cool thumbnail. Uh, but I was off my fucking gourd. This shit doesn't make sense. This is so stupid. Jesus Christ, try to make a different type of video and I'm just ranting. No, it's not even ranting. It's I wrote an essay and I'm reading it out to you guys. Goodbye. I'm going to buy a bunch of new hats, by the way. I think I like hats. Oh yeah, my mom's watching my videos now. Hi, mom. I, I'm normal. I love you, mom. Ah, oh, dude, what a great start. My mom's now watching, and then she's going to be, be like, Oh, Jordan, you posted a video. Don't watch it, mother. Sponsor me.